Hi everyone, we are going to look into reading and see what is coming through and what messages, information and clarity I can also give to you as well. Uh, so we will look into everything and I just wanted to mention as well that if you wanted to win any you know, free readings with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month uh, on how to enter for that. There's also the personal readings as well with me. There's also rituals to manifest different areas of your life, black magic energy removal, healing work, prayers, and so much more, which you can find in the description box of my video. And everything is on shopmoonlightguidance.com, including intention items, which thousands of people have seen results with. The handmade, meditated with, and sage. There's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, which you can put on your pillow, you wallet, your purse, that needs bundles, candles, and teas. <laughs> there we go. My introduction is done. <laughs> now we start with the reading. This is for all star signs. If you're here, I feel like it's a sign in itself. And let's see what has, um, what what is coming through. Okay, let us see. Let us see. Wow. <laughs> I think you're doing a lot better than you might think you're doing. Also, someone else feels like you're doing a lot better than you would, they think that you would be doing, if that makes any sense. Does that make any sense? See, we've got the King and the Queen of Pentacles. So there's clearly a situation here between two people, between you and another. And I feel in so many ways that they, they feel like you would be just heartbroken. You'll be crying. You're going to be, you know, just not living your life. You're going to be sitting there and waiting for them and anticipating them to come towards you. And that's not the case. I actually think you're doing a lot better. I mean, yeah, you know what? You may not be feeling great, but you are definitely trying to do as much as you can for yourself. You're trying to look after yourself and you are trying to put yourself first to a degree for sure. And they actually feel like you're doing a lot better. So basically they have this assumption that, you know, you'll be sitting there and waiting for them and all this kind of stuff. But what they're going to come across is either energetically, they're going to pick up on feeling a lot of your energies or what's actually going to happen is that they are going to, um, oh, what's the word? Um, or they are going to basically, um, see on social media or see through somebody else that you're actually doing really well, that you're going out, you're living your life, you, you know, and, and, and you don't have to necessarily go out and live your life. You could be literally at home and living your life and that spiritual energy can trigger them, you know? So they're just going to feel like you are living your life. And it's, it's almost like they will kind of think about that and be like, are you actually living your life and having a good time? Because I thought you were just sitting there and waiting for me, you know? So it's actually the sense here of them feeling triggered. Like they have to actually now do something about things because you're not sitting there and waiting for them. You're actually just getting on with life. And that is something that is, you know, it's it's triggering for them. They're like, what and why and how, you know? Um, so we've got the Queen of Cups. We've also got here as well the Knight of Swords. We've also got here as well the Fool and the Three of Wands. And clearly, okay, clearly, you're not waiting around for this person like you once were. I just, I just don't feel like you're in the mood of doing that. And the thing here, especially, is that it's good if you don't because they pick up on those energies of you waiting for them and that just slows everything down because then they just become comfortable because they can feel you spiritually waiting for them on a spiritual level without them even having to, you know, think about anything. And then they just feel content with whatever they're doing and that really doesn't help you. So actually, by you not waiting for them, it actually helps everything all the way around. Like, just... I guess, get on with your life and take care of yourself, put yourself first and boom, they spiritually feel triggered to then come towards you and feel like they have to do something towards you as well. Oh, I just dropped a card. Hold on a second. Oh, it's a magician. Oh, magician. Communication, huh? Ow. Okay, so, magician powerful. Magician, communication. Magician is next to the lovers. Lovers is ruled by Gemini and Gemini is ruled by Mercury and both of these are ruled by Mercury. Aries energy, seven of pentacles. Six of swords. Okay, here. 
Good, good. Good stuff. Okay. First of all, what's really important that we have here is that we've got the magician and the emperor. Now, emperor is really, really important. The reason why the emperor is important actually is because there's a very, very strong energy of them having been quite relaxed and detached. Okay. They've been kind of just in their own world, doing whatever, thinking that you will always be there for them. And now they're starting to think about things a lot more. They're starting to put much more of their day's energy into thinking about what you're up to, what you're doing, why you're not running after them, why you're not coming towards them, what is going on in your life. They can't believe that you're actually living your life. It's kind of sad, isn't it? Like if, for a person to actually think like, oh, you have to like, that you're not really living your life. Like that's sad. In my opinion, that's sad, you know, that they've always had this expectation that you're just going to be like sitting there and waiting for them. Obviously that's not nice and it's not good. and It's not the most greatest thing on the planet, is it? But clearly that's what they think. And no, it's not okay. You know what I mean? Like, no, it, it, it isn't okay that they, that they think this way and they act this way. Like that's not, that's not it you know. <laughs> um, the good news in all of this is that they will be triggered to come towards you because you are no longer sitting there and waiting for them and just constantly needing them. You know, that that is the good news here is that they will come to you a lot more because they will feel like you're not just literally there, you know, um, which is very good. The other thing that I also want to say as well is that no matter who they surround themselves with and try and distract themselves with, even if it's friends, they just will keep thinking about you, detaching when you are very, very detached. So actually putting yourself first does huge wonders and huge favors for things to really work out in the way that you basically want them to work out in. It helps you. And oh my gosh, does it help you a lot. And that's just very important as well, you know? So that's a that's a good thing that I will say. The other thing as well that's really quite significant, in my humble opinion, <laughs> is the fact that the more you put yourself first, the more it does help you as well. It helps you feel stronger within yourself. It helps you feel better within yourself. It helps you feel more rejuvenated and more awakened. And, you know, it, it does. Um sitting there and waiting for someone is emotionally difficult. It is, is not, it's not nice, you know. So then there's that as well. Um, so yeah, basically they can't believe that you're actually living your life. And that is just, that's literally the message of this reading. And I know that sounds really sad actually in so many ways. Like they, they can't believe that you're not sitting there and waiting for them. But it makes them feel uncomfortable and they haven't really felt uncomfortable for a long time. You know, you've always made them somehow feel comfortable, especially when you're waiting for them or you're giving them the upper hand. Or when you place the power into their hands and it's, you know, it's, it's about them. You've given them the power for so long that they, they don't know what it's like, you know, for you to have the upper hand now. And uh, obviously that makes them feel very overwhelmed for sure from what I'm seeing. But honestly, do what's best for you and you will see that it will benefit you tremendously. Honestly, it will benefit you so much and it will make you feel so much better and happier as well. And that will just be, you know, the best thing in the grand scheme of things. And that is literally what we see here. Ta-da! Yep, that is it. Okay, so let's see what message cards we have. I thought about surprising you with a date. Oh, they're getting triggered, okay? They're getting extremely triggered. To the point where they feel like they actually need to do so much more towards you. it was you, it was always you. Yeah, see, this triggers them. When you're like living your best life and you're taking care of yourself, that makes them want to come to you because that high vibrational energy, they see you as someone that's so much more desirable. You really are the best thing that's ever happened to me. Look at that. Put yourself first, live your life. Honestly, it's going to help. It's going to help a lot and it's going to really make things come together for you and make you feel so much better overall in the grand scheme of things. And this is literally your reading. So of course, if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items which are on my website. And take care everyone, and I will see you soon. And yeah, I hope that you take care for sure. And all the information for the personal readings is listed down below. Sorry, my voice is actually... <coughs> I feel like I'm going to cough. That's why I'm talking like this. <laughs> it's not that nothing is wrong. Um, 
But yeah, all the information for personal services is listed down below. There's also TikTok and Instagram and all the links are on there as well um, in the description box. And I will see you all very soon. And yeah, my voice, I feel like it's just going to give up on me and I'm just going to start coughing a lot. That's basically what it, what's happening. Um, but yes, take care everyone. Okay, bye.